All right, and we are back for our second story of today, April 1st, starting this month off with an extra little story time from Coach Lizzie today. And let's jump into Pete and the Cat, Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. Do any of you guys wear um, bonnets with your jammies? If so, I'd love to see it. Look at that cutie little Pete, tiny little Pete cat, so cute. All right, here is Pete the cat in all of his outfits. We've got Rockin', we've got Superhero, Dinosaur, he loves dinosaurs. That's what's one of my favorite things about Pete the cat is that he's a cat who loves dinosaurs. I think that is just the funniest thing. And also super cool. Dinosaurs are awesome. Okay, here we go. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach, surf and sun, and tons of fun. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Do you guys know that when you see this symbol, it's a light bulb, and that symbol is uh, the symbol for an idea. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place, let's go. The party was far out but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. On went the pajamas and out went the lights. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when clap, clap, clack. Who did that? Asked Pete. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when rat a tat tat. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus, Gus the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I just want to jam instead. Pete covers his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to Sleep. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard. Munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunt. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? All the clapping, rat-a-tat-tatting, and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. Oh. Sorry, here we go. He, get out, he got out of his favorite bedtime story and started to read, first to himself and then to the gang. He's reading Pete the Cat and the Ten Little Monsters. Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. 
They all settled down. No one made a sound. Can we just take a second to check out Alligator's jammies because they are awesome and funny. Pete yawned and turned off the light. Good night, sleep tight, time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing sun and tons of fun. They're all dreaming that same dream, huh? And there we go. And back to all of our peats. All right, guys, if it's nighttime, get tucked in and have a really good night's sleep. If this is just a bonus story, thanks for listening and watching me today. 